And we saw the, there's a real clear case for replacement theology that, that Israel as a nation has been replaced by people who are going to be willing to do the work, people who are going to be willing to preach the gospel and do what God had intended for Israel to do, but they weren't doing it because every time God tried to send servants to Israel, they were beating them and stoning them and treating them poor and, you know, all the prophets are just being treated poorly all the way up until he sends his only begotten son who they end up killing, right? So that's when, that's the last straw. He's going to destroy those wicked servants miserably and, and, you know, let out his vineyard unto other people. That's, and that's what we are, and that's what believers are, and that's what different, you know, as, an, as different nations have come and gone through history, whoever is going to do the work of God, God is going to lift up those people and use those people for his glory as his servants. And most recently, the United States of America has been the country that has been promoting the gospel and shining that light and being used of God to do that work. Unfortunately, now we're starting to see a lot of people in this country becoming more and more wicked and people increasingly rejecting the Lord and going after their own idols and going after whatever God, the God of atheism, the God of science, the God of what, whatever gods that they're forming up on their own. And, you know, the Bible warns that those that are, that are grafted in to the olive tree, hey, you could be plucked right off again. And that, um, you know, nations that are being used by God, you can be just like Israel and given over and have someone else pop up that's going to do the work of the Lord. So this is something that people always need to be cognizant of. And, and remember that we can't just get complacent. We have to do the work. We're laborers. There's a, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. So our job is to do the work for the Lord. Excuse me. So he doesn't let out his vineyard unto other laborers.